All right, everybody. I greatly appreciate you tuning into my channel. I'm BJ from the 478. I do apologize, people, for the delay. It's tax season, man. Everything is just overwhelming, but we're able to get it done, get people's items completed, um, done the way I do vehicles, and I feel satisfied with releasing them. So I got a a couple of quick things to go over with last time you seen this vehicle um we was in the mix of adding new carpet and all that good stuff well now i have the actual radio all the lights fixed in here i got a treat for you on how i did the dash i i, I made it out of real carbon fiber some dash pods um and also a pod that actually holds his sniper unit and a voltmeter and a couple target switches so Let's dig on into it. This is a 1974 Caprice Classic, and it was brung to me because it needed to be rewired. And we had some issues with uh, wiring in the vehicle. The audio wasn't up to snuff. Um, I decided to go ahead and keep the panels that's in it. Um, just revamp them, clean them up real good. Um, put them together a little bit better. Um, lock the grills in um, and it's a couple of little minor little things I had to rewire on those and I got them back to look the part. Now, it already had the, the pods and the lights in it. I just revamped them and rewired them, rewired them um, so uh, they all work on the target switch and all the, the wires are correct in here because the wiring was, yeah, just because it's hooked up, people don't make it right. So. Then again, we had bad grounds. We had um, a ton of stuff. So let me give you a sneak peek of what actually was done in here and how I did it. So let me get this light real quick. Okay, let's do this. Let's start under the hood. Real quick. So here I have 500 amp isolator um also this ground right here i just made sure it was working but what it does is it allows me to um once you switch the vehicle on it allows current to come through here that way the alternator can charge that back battery but when you turn the vehicle off therefore you will not have um power going back there it'll still come up to this one but it won't they won't interact it's a big relay let's put it like that so one right here is going to be a ground which is this one right here and then the other one right here is going to be ignition and this runs to an initial wire inside the vehicle and therefore once you switch it on this is what it's going to sound like so it's opening and closing and that way you know you know saying that power so once you click it off they won't see each other like this battery will not see that battery in that's in the back therefore you won't get a power draw and they're in there fighting each other and this thing you know you're burning up your vehicle so the console was redone um i, I built them a new console because the car console i don't know if you've seen it in one of my other videos on this car it looked like it yeah so i redid that um got them a new console in here also built the sniper unit um uh pod where the factory radio went the factory radio was there and it and they covered it up and put this little usb or whatnot in there and it looked like it looked it didn't look the part so th now that looks the part now, like i said i i made that out of real carbon fiber the dash pieces up here i did my my um patent uh dash pod in here with two four inch famas and then two three inch tweeters over here um i didn't use anything it, it for say underneath these uh grill pods but if you looked at my other video and i, I think i found some pictures the dash in here was um kind of built up right here so by them building it up the tweeters didn't fit because the digital dash um was in the way of that other tweet tweeter fitting up there and it just looked like hot garbage so i turned around and i just decided we're not gonna get the dash rewrapped because this vinyl when i found this vinyl it, this vinyl was hard as hell to find and match up so it was a pain in the, and it was a pain in, in the royal 
um, but I got it got it matched up to the T, especially with this texture. But it took me a minute to find it, and, sh and my um, local interior shop, uh, Shadburns, they was able to get me some. And man, it was it was it was right out about a hundred dollars a yard. So um, you can imagine, you mess up you mess up that vinyl, then you're gonna get you're gonna be it hurting a while like just a tad so like I said I wasn't um able to put anything over here because I wasn't able to put anything over there with no room so I just decided to run the two fours and the two three inch tweeters and they bounce out the glass and they sound amazing so down in the bottom I have some six and a halves um both sides I have some more six and a halves in those paws there and those paws there and I have some three inch tweeters up top and two six by nines mounted back in the rear. So let's check out and see what, what I have in the trunk and then we go from there. But also, um, before I get back there, this right here will actually turn off the lights, turn them back on, but it's on ignition. So you cut the car off, it's gonna cut off. You cut it on, if you leave the switch on it, that, that way we're not having no problems with dead batteries and all that good stuff. Now, the voltmeter, it actually um, uh, runs and checks the whole voltage on the whole vehicle, front to rear. There's a lot of electronics in here. So yeah, I'm resting at 11, seven. Um, get up to her towards the battery, you're a little bit almost at 12, but that's just with me um, having the vehicle on and I, I'm gonna go ahead and charge the batteries and take all the fuses out before I leave today. So uh, that head unit is an absolute beast that was one of my favorite um uh pioneer head units and it's got every amenity on it apple carplay and all that good stuff and it sounds amazing so let's see what we got in the trunk so in the trunk it was redone um we had a had a, a big shit show back here and i fixed all that so um got got that all taken care of um we got the VFL four channel, the big 2000 um, in the rear. Um, I, I'll pull up some more pictures. And then we have the Tramps um, 12K, um, Smart 12K back there in the back. And you got a retro 56 over here in the corner. All tucked away nicely, um, custom battery box. So it's gonna stay in its place. And um, also those are two Sundown 12s. And man, them things get it in this trunk. You would, a lot of people think, hey man, I gotta go 15s, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Those trunk, those 12s in this trunk will wake the dead people. So um, in order for me to supply the proper current to those amplifiers and to that battery, you're gonna need the proper grounds. Now let's take a look at the grounds. Grounds are everything, people. No grounds, no 12 volt. So, a lot of people will actually take the grounds from the, from the actual amplifier and run them to that bank on the battery. Not a problem. I'm just, this was a little closer um, uh, to the amp, but I've always, it's, it's a little more work, but I've always just, if I can run them to the chassis and keep everything from the battery, I run chassis grounds from the main, the big boy, the, the, the amp that's pulling all the juice that's, that's causing the power problems. That's gonna get their own ground. So each one of those leads coming out of that amplifier has its own ground. Um, also, uh, this bolt here ran through the frame, um, 12 millimeter bolt on both sides, um, tucked away, separated. So we, we got good solid grounds. And I ran two, I could have ran more, but it just would have been a little overkill. But you gotta think we're gonna be pulling 500 amps um, on that. And I need to have enough, enough um, out gauge ground wire on here, OFC, to actually support that. Because if you don't have good grounds, what's gonna happen is you're gonna melt your hot wire or you're gonna smoke your ground because the, the smaller the ground is, you you have current going through that. The only way 12 volt works is to 
have a good ground. So, long story short, grounds are a plus. More grounds, the better. I could run a whole roll of grounds in this car and it'll probably make it run better, sound better, everything is better, but this was what was needed and it was done. And it was done correctly. So, now what you're left with here are more slots. Um, you can run more grounds here, like I said, but it, it was just, um, I got one, one out coming in, but I got two going out, but that's just to supply this battery. So when it puts a draw coming out of here, going into this bank here, going to the amplifier, it, it keeps everything running cool and the wire doesn't get warm. Um, they, they, they can tend to current goes through there, especially a lot of people don't know how to turn stuff down and get in there and just you know start melting stuff we, we don't we try our best to stray away from that because everything is tuned by me um so when it leaves you own the car i can't tell you what to turn up and what to turn down but when when it leaves me I, it's 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 gone through and it's tuned correctly and hopefully you wouldn't have any problems when i see you again i want you to come back and upgrade not come back with problems so um I think I covered everything. Um, I will do another video. Hopefully by the time he comes pick it up, um, maybe we can play a little music. You know what I'm saying? But this thing is loud as hell, people. When I say it's loud, it's clean, it's got nice sound quality, it, it has all that. And like I, I can't tell you that the attention to detail on certain things is there. It is. So if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Um, you can always go back and check um, uh, other videos on the build, see how it came along, see where it started from. Um, but yeah, this whole thing, I rewired it, all that good stuff. Now it's ready to rock and roll. Only thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the fuses out before I leave. Only thing left to do is actually just make the ground for the isolator and I should be done with it. And hopefully he can come pick it up tomorrow. I greatly appreciate you tuning into my channel. I'm BJ from the 478. If you have any questions or you need to contact me, just leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer it for you. Thank you.